Alright, Shalom. Shalom. This is your brother Issachar coming back at you with another lesson. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Alright, in today's lesson, you know, we're going to get into how special the chosen elect are. The elect, one third of you Israelites and the 144,000 have been preordained for salvation. So we're going to get right into it. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter 1, verses 3 through 13. Ephesians chapter 1, verses 3 through 11. Blessed be the power and father, Yahweh of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings and heavenly places in Yahweh Shai according as he had chosen us in him before the foundation of the world see that because the elect were chosen already for salvation before the earth was even established that we should be holy meaning separate and without blame before him in love having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Shai to himself because the elect you know you're of the Lord okay. you are the Lord's elect those of you out there who can receive this knowledge because you have faith according to the good pleasure of his will you see that because the Lord chose the elect Ephesians 1 and 6 To the praise of the glory of His grace Wherein He hath made us accepted in the Beloved Alright, so when you see that Akim and Aqua Beloved That means the elect Okay, the chosen The chosen few In whom we have redemption through His blood The forgiveness of sins According to the riches of His grace We're going to read all the way down to the 11th verse. Verse 8. Wherein he hath abounded toward us in all wisdom and prudence, having made known unto us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure, which he hath purposed in himself, that in the dispensation of the fullness of times he might gather together in one all things and Hamashiach, both which are in heaven. Okay, so that word Hamashiach, right there it says Christ. That means Hamashiach, that means the anointed. Okay, the chosen. Both which are in heaven and which are on earth, even in him. Verse 11. Ephesians 1 and 11. In whom also we have obtained an inheritance being predestinated according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will see that because the elect were predestinated preordained before the lord yahweh created the planet earth this is how special the elect are. See, because, you know, you're not just, you know, the elect. You're the, the Lord's elect. Yahweh chose the elect for Yahweh Shai. So let's go to the book of 2 Thessalonians. 2 Thessalonians. 
chapter 2 and verse 13. But we are bound to give thanks always to the Most High Yahweh for you, brethren, beloved, the elect of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, and the elect, for you believers out there, consist of men, women, and children. Don't forget that. Because the Most High, Yahweh, here we go, pay attention, hath from the beginning chosen you. Yes, you. To salvation through sanctification of the Spirit and belief of the truth. Because it's not belief of, you know, what you feel you know, on on your new religion. No, it's on based on the truth. It's not some, you know, radical extremist. No, it's the truth. It's the Lord. Okay, because there's a lot of religions out there, you know, that are man-made. Okay, a lot of false groups. You know, there's a lot of, uh, you know, evil forces out there, you know, that pretend that they're for the Lord, but... You know, they're, they're wicked You see Faith was given to his, to his elect Because you cannot go to the store And say, you know what, I want to buy some uh, I want to buy some faith You know Faith was given to his elect the elect were with Yahweh Shai from the beginning. We're going to go to 1 John chapter 2, verse 12. I write unto you, little children, because your sins are forgiven you for his name's sake. Verse 13. I write unto you, fathers, because ye have known him that is from the beginning. I write unto you, young men, because ye have overcome the wicked one. I write unto you, little children, because ye have known the Father. Verse 14. I have written unto you, fathers, because ye have known him that is from the beginning. I have written unto you, young men, because ye are strong and the word of the Most High Yahweh abideth in you and ye have overcome the wicked one. 1 John chapter 2 and verse 15 Love not the world neither the things that are in the world if any man love the world the love of the Father is not in him. Okay, it doesn't mean you know life you know don't you know, don't love the animals and, you know, how beautiful life is. No, it's talking about this modern, okay, wicked kingdom. You see, the Lord's saying, you know, don't, you know, it's, there's nothing wrong, okay, with, the, you know, you know, being, a, you know, being a boss, you know, uh, having a good career, being responsible. But the Lord's saying, don't put all your effort into that. You know, you got to remember you know, the Lord. Okay, of course, you know, there's nothing wrong with, you know, having a good time, you know, being responsible, individual, you know, including uh, you agents out there. Because when the men of the Lord talk about, you know, these agents, because there is wicked people out there. But also, you got to understand, okay, that the Lord does see that there is not all you agents are bad and a lot of you are waking up you see those of you in the military okay those of you part of special teams and groups you see so you gotta disregard you know when the when the the men of the lord you know speaking about agents because he, you know they're talking about the ones who are actually trying to trip up the men of the lord on purpose and the believers you see so you just gotta this, you know disregard that okay because you know the Lord's elect are everywhere they're everywhere and the Lord knows 
you know, a lot of people who have been, you know, listening, you know, are waking up, you know, because the, the elect are going to wake up. Doesn't matter what your position is. Doesn't matter where you're at, what your career is. The elect are going to recognize the truth. The elect are going to come into the fold. The elect are going to repent. It doesn't matter your position. You see? And you don't have to look like a so-called black, Latino, Native American Indian. You can look like a so-called Caucasian. Okay, so-called Chinese, so-called Japanese. Don't let that throw you off. Okay, the elect are the elect. You Israelites have been scattered throughout the whole world among all these other nations. So don't be so hard on yourself. If you believe in the Lord and can receive this message, then shalom to you. Keep going. You know, strive for righteousness. So we're going to go now to the book of Revelation. Revelation chapter 14, verses 1 through 4. And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, and with them a hundred and forty and with them a hundred and forty and four thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads. So the hundred and forty four thousand are the governing bodies. Those are the rulers of the universe. And I heard, you know, God, you know, angels that were with her, that have been here with Yahweh that helped Yahweh okay, build the planet Earth. So the elect, the 144,000, are not ordinary men. And I heard a voice from heaven, as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of great thunder, and I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders and no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty and four thousand which were redeemed for the from the earth so that's, that's the top governing bodies okay so those are the teachers the prophets these are they which were not defiled with women for they are virgins this is revelation chapter 14 verse 4 this doesn't mean that that person had you know hasn't had uh relations okay it means that they're not swallowed up, okay, with philosophies, okay, Esau's doctrines. These are they which follow the Lamb, Yahweh Shai, wherever he, he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the, fir being the first fruits unto Yahweh and to the Lamb. So the elect are the first spirits ever created. So the elect were with the Hawashai from the beginning. They're the first spirits ever made before everything else was created. All, everything else. They were with the Hawashai from the beginning. So the 144,000 and Yahawashai go way back. Okay, they go way back. You know how people say in this world, you know, like, oh, you know, we go way back. Okay, that's how the Yahawashai and his elect are. Okay, they go. We're talking way back. It's the truth. So let's go to Isaiah. Bear with me. Isaiah. Chapter 41. And verse 4. Who hath wrought and done it, calling the generations from the beginning. I, the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. So Yahweh is the Most High. Okay, when, when you know, those of you learning out there, you know, tuning in, um, when you say Bahashem, that means in the name. And then Yahweh Shai. I, the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. The first and with the last, I am He. See that? So now we're going to go to the book of Colossians. Chapter 1, 
the book of Colossians chapter 1 and verse 15. Colossians chapter 1 and verse 15. 15 through 17. Who is the image of the invisible power, the firstborn of every creature? Because the elect were you were the first fruits. You were created before everything else, all principalities, everything. For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible. Whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created by him and for him. So Yahweh created everything. Okay, even, you know, uh, the, the demons. Okay, the principalities, everything. You see, when, so those of you who say, well, how, how is that possible? Because Yahweh created everything. It's a balance. Yahweh created everything, all principalities, everything. Yahweh created that. Mm -hmm. He's the Lord. And He is before all things, and by Him all things consist because of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh. You see that? Because of Him all things e exist. So if it wasn't for the Lord, there wouldn't be nothing here. Okay, he can he created everything. Both sides. Angels, principalities. That's right. Romans chapter 8 verse 16 through 17. The spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High, and if children, then heirs of the Most High, then join heirs with Yahweh Shai. If so, be that we suffer with Him, because that's what these churches and religions don't teach you. Okay, to be in the truth, okay, comes tribulation and the suffering, because you gotta bear that cross, because you strive for righteousness. You got to remember Job chapter 9 and verse 24 The earth has been given into the hand of the wicked So as soon as you try to be righteous Okay, you become a target instantly Because we're in a wicked kingdom right now Okay, right now Esau Okay, worships who? Satan Okay, but it's for education A learning purpose So when the elect establish righteousness In the new kingdom Which is right around the corner they're going to know what not to do. Comprende? That we may also be glorified together. See that? Because the elect are going to be glorified with Yahweh together when he gets here in that gigantic chariot, spaceship. So let's go to St. John chapter 15. St. John chapter 15, verse 26 and 27. But when the Comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, Yahweh, even the Spirit of truth, which proceedeth from the Father, Yahweh, he shall testify of me. And ye also, this is red letter to how I speaking, Verse 27, and ye also shall bear witness because ye have been with me from the beginning. So this is why the elect cannot be compromised because they've been with Yahweh Shai before the earth was even established. So there's nothing that Esau can offer them. This is why the elect, you know, they won't sell out like the rest of the simpletons. Okay, and that word beginning Okay, and in Greek means RK. Okay, means beginning, okay, of angels. So the elect, 
Okay, the 144,000 okay, are angels in the flesh, in these fleshly bodies. Because the 144,000 are not ordinary men. Okay, and they're very, very powerful. Very powerful. Okay, they're, you're about to see many most highs on the earth when they receive that spiritual power. And Lord willing, we can go into a lesson, you know, into that soon. Spiritual power that the Lord's about to show the world who His elect are. And they're going to be performing miracles, miraculous miracles. And people of earth are going to know that these are of these are the elect of the Lord with, without a shadow of a doubt. Genesis chapter 1 and verse 1. In the beginning, the powers, mean the Elohim, the angels, created the heaven and the earth. You see that? So the Most High, Yahweh, because it says God there, but the Most High Yahweh is not mentioned till the second chapter. And just so you know, that word God there means the Alahayim, okay, the powers. Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 26. Isaiah chapter 1 in verse 26 and I will restore thy judges as at the first and thy counsel and thy counselors as at the beginning afterward thou shalt be called the city of righteousness the faithful city so the Lord says he's going to restore the judges see because right now the elect are in chains of darkness they're in these flesh okay they're angels but in these fleshly terrestrial bodies but the Lord is about to enhance them is about to unlock that so we're gonna go to second second Timothy second Timothy chapter 1 In verse 9, Second Timothy chapter 1 and verse 9, who hath saved us and called us with an holy calling, separate calling, because it's separate. This is why the wicked, you know, they laugh at it, you know, and they, you know, they don't take heed, it's, and it's to their warning too, you know. You know, if they were smart, they would take notes and take heed. Because remember out there, you believers, whether the wicked believe or not, like it or not, accept it or not, prophecy is, is going to happen. Okay, World War Three is coming down the pike. That new digital currency, which is the, the C-HIP, Revelation 13, verse 16. Right, and the Lord is about to be here. 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 9 Who has saved us And called us with the holy calling Because it's separate It's not for everyone It's just for the elect This is why you have mockers and scorners But they're back in their lot But this time to receive judgment Not according to our works But according to his own purpose Because it's his purpose His will And grace Which was given us And Yahweh Shai here we go. Okay, we're about to drive the point home. In Yahweh Shai, before the world began. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 9. Okay, did y'all hear that? Which was given us. Because you're preordained. In Yahweh Shai, before the world began. See that? Because the elect were chosen. Before the, the world was even established You see that's why no one can pluck The elect Out of the Lord's hands Nobody Because they're of the Lord's And this is how How do we know Well you say well how do You know that That the Lord chose him 
Okay, well, this is going to back that up. St. John chapter 15, verse 16. Because the Lord says, prove all things. And we can through these scriptures. Okay, just, just let the, the scriptures do the talking. St. John chapter 15, verse 16. Here we go. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. Bam. And ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit. Okay, Lord's talking about the prophets. And that your fruit should remain. That whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father, Yahweh, in my name, he will give it. He will give it you. See that? It's because the Lord chose you. you. You can't choose the Lord. That's why, you know, like the wicked doers out there, okay, they're they're in their lot. Okay, they didn't just choose, you know what, I just want I want to be bad. I want to be on the wicked team. No. Okay. They were selected. Okay, everything is already in the councils in the heavens. And then the angels bring the messages and it happens here on the planet Earth. See that? So if you're wicked, it's because you were chosen to be wicked. You're in your lot. Okay, you didn't just wake up one day and say, you know what? You know, I feel some type of way. You know, I'm going to sell out. No. Okay, you were, you were preordained as well to be wicked. See? This is why Esau, okay, on the left-hand side... You know, they're in their lot. Okay, he's doing exactly what he's supposed to do. And the Lord's about to give Esau, you know, a VIP pass, okay, to 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 beat you wicked Israelites behind. Because Esau is the Lord's whipping stick on the left hand side. You see, the Lord created Esau to be the wicked. He he didn't just choose to be that way. He was created to be that way. You got to understand that the Lord controls both sides. There's a reason for everything. It's called balance. St. John chapter 17 and verse 1 through 10. These words spake Yahweh Shai and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father Yahweh, the hour is come. Glorify thy son and thy son also may glorify thee. As thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. Because you elect are about to receive eternal, eternal life. Even you wicked Israelites right now. Yes, you. Okay, after you receive your judgment, when you come back in the kingdom through the elect, you're going to be immortal. All Israelites will be immortal. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true power, and Yahweh Shai, whom thou hast sent. I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. And now, O Father, Yahweh, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. See that? Because the Lord says, he, he was with his elect before the world was. St. John chapter 17 verse 5. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. To show you that. That Yahweh Shai didn't even choose the elect. Yahweh picked the elect for Yahweh Shai. Right there. We'll get that again from the top. St. John chapter 17 verse 6 I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. This is why the elect are separate. Thy dying word and thou gavest them me and they kept thy word. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. For I have given unto them the words which thou hast gavest me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I came out from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. I pray for them, 
This is important. St. John chapter 17, verse 9. If everyone says, well, God loves everyone. No. Right here, St. John chapter 17, verse 9. I pray for them. This is Yahweh Shai speaking. Who? The elect. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, showing you again, which thou hast given me, because Yahweh has chose the elect for Yahweh Shai, for they are thine. Verse 10, and all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them, because the elect praise the Lord. Okay, that's why the wicked, you know, they hate the Lord, but they're in their lot. They're the wicked. They're supposed to be that way. You see? You got to understand that. You know, the wicked are doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing. They're in their lot. You know, and they're, you know, they're, they're about to run full throttle very soon. You know, the world is going to know who the wicked are very soon. Because their slogan is expect no mercy. You know, the left hand side. The, the Lord is going to use them. Because the Lord created them to be that way for a purpose. To show the world what wickedness is. It's all education. That way when the righteous establish a righteous kingdom, which is very soon, they're going to know what not to do, how not to be. So let's jump down to St. John chapter 17, verses 21 through 26. That they all may be one, as thou, Father Yahweh, art in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. And the glory which thou gavest me, I, I have given them, that they may be one, even as we are one. I in them, and thou in me, that they may be made perfect and one. So the, the Lord is, you know, puts the elect through tribulation, but he's making you perfect. And at the end, you're all going to shine. And that the world may know that thou hast sent me and has loved them. Because the Lord loves his elect. And thou hast loved me. Father, Yahweh, I will that they also whom thou hast given me be with me where I am. That they may behold my glory which thou hast given me. For thou lovest me before the foundation of the world. See, that's because the elect are going to have the new bodies. They're going to be able to go to the spiritual realm and come back down here. To the, They're going to be able to go to the third dimension and the fourth dimension. They're not going to need a space apparatus. Okay, this is what the Lord is about to grant his elect. Immor uh, immortal bodies. They're going to be superhuman super here on the earth. That can go underwater, that can fly. This is literal. O righteous Father, Yahweh, Did you hear that? O righteous Father, Yahweh. Yeah, you hear that? Those of you on the left side. O righteous, because he's righteous. He's not evil. He controls both sides. O righteous Father, the world hath not known thee, but I have known thee, and these have known that thou hast sent me. And I have declared unto them thy name, and I will declare it, that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them and I in them, because the Lord loves his elect. You see that? Just to show you out there, you know, you're righteous. This is why, you know, you, you know you're good folks. You know, those of you who believe in the Lord, Okay, you're very special. You have been 